Heartstopper is a great new series on Netflix that explores LGBTQ plus identity. It's also a wonderful show if you like a drama that's really beautiful to watch. We're going to look at an early episode because I don't want to reveal too much about the plot of this great series. We're going to use episode number two to learn the vocabulary, to fancy someone, to space out, to come round, inner circle, and to befriend someone. First, we'll go over the definitions of the words, and then we'll look at the pronunciation and how the characters say it. And finally, I'll give you the chance to repeat the characters in exactly the same way as they say what they say. And this is a great technique, it's called shadowing, and you can use it when you're watching TV to improve your grammar, pronunciation, and basically everything. Let's not waste any more time. Heartstopper, vocabulary, pronunciation, repetition. Let's dive in. Nick Nelson. You might as well give up right now. He's the straightest person I have ever seen. Thank you. And I don't know Tara that well. I can't just go up to her and ask her who she fancies. Elle says, I can't just go up to her and ask her who she fancies. If you go up to somebody, then you approach them and you start talking to them. And if you fancy something, then you like that thing. If you fancy a person, then you're romantically interested in that person. So, who do you fancy? Let's look at the way that Elle says this. I can't just go up to her and ask her who she fancies. To be honest, this is a very British way of speaking. Notice with the intonation and the emphasis, it's very musical. She goes up and then down. She says, I can't just go up to her and ask her who she fancies. And the stress or the emphasis is very much on the final syllable of fancies. Fancies. Repeat after me. I can't just go up to her and ask her who she fancies. Excellent. Now I'm going to play the scene and it will pause. When it pauses, I want you to repeat what L says. You'll know because it says repeat at the top of the screen. And this is where you should repeat what she says in exactly the way that she says it. This is a great thing to do when you're watching TV. It really helps your grammar, pronunciation, and everything. So we're gonna practice it together. Are you ready? Let's go. I can't just go up to her and ask her who she fancies. just spaced out. Nick says you just spaced out. If you space out, then you lose focus. Another way to say it would be to say you drifted off into the clouds and you were, you know, gone for a second. You spaced out. So to space out means to lose focus or to become disoriented. Repeat after me. You just spaced out. Fantastic. All right, now we're going to repeat what Nick says when he says it. Again, it's going to say repeat at the top of the screen. You can play the video as many times as you want. You just spaced out. Do you... Do you want to come around my house? So Joe says, do you want to come round my house? If you come round to somebody's house, then you visit them. You can also say, do you want to come round? And this means, do you want to visit me at my house? Or do you want to come round my house? Or do you want to come round to my house? So to come round means to visit someone at their house. Notice how quickly he says it and how all the words run into each other. He doesn't say, do you? He says, do you? Right? All right. Let's have a look at how he says it. Do you want to come around my house? <laughs> Repeat after me. I'll say it slowly. Do you want to come around my house? Good work. All right, I'll play the scene and you can repeat after Joe. Do you want to come around my house? Only a few of our friends know, but I think you're officially part of the inner circle. <laughs>
Tara says, I think you're officially part of the inner circle. Now, an inner circle is a friendship group. So a group of friends who are very close. It can also mean an exclusive group that's close to the center of power. So what she's doing is she's inviting Elle to become part of their close friendship group, part of the inner circle. Let's look at the way that Tara says this. I think you're officially part of the inner circle. <laughs> Notice that she does not pronounce the T in part of. So she says part of, right? And also the way that she says inner circle is interesting. She says inner circle. Repeat the whole sentence after me. I think you're officially part of the inner circle. Good. Now let's repeat after Tara. I think you're officially part of the inner circle. <laughs> You've befriended the school lesbians. <laughs> A quick one to finish off. Darcy says you've befriended the school lesbians. If you befriend someone, then this is a verb that means to make friends with. So when Elle became part of the inner circle, she befriended Darcy and Tara. Let's repeat what Darcy says. You've befriended the school lesbians. <laughs> Heartstopper is one of the best new series out there and it's great to practice with Netflix's perfect subtitles which always follow the characters in English with exactly what they say. Netflix is really good for that. So if you want to practice, get on Netflix or check out the playlist right here next to my head and remember to like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Jesse. The channel is English Absorbed. Keep absorbing, keep listening, keep reading and ciao for now.